Jeff Smith was born in Aniana, Alabama on February 19, 1965 to Jerry and Betty Smith. He started working early in life with a regular yard mowing service in his neighborhood. Later he would work for the city of Aniana performing maintenance work on the swimming pool and ballparks. At one point he worked for Fieldstone Meats where his job was salting pig hides. He recalls this was probably the hardest and dirtiest work he's ever done. Jeff graduated from Aniana High School in 1983 where he had been active in the Student Government Association, music, drama, and football. After graduation he packed his bags for Tuscaloosa and the University of Alabama where he would obtain his degree in marketing. After graduation Jeff accepted a minimum wage position at Oil Equipment Company. He points out that he was hired by an Auburn man, although he doesn't say whether or not that was meant as a compliment. Jeff worked in construction, obtained his certificate to test underground storage tanks, and ultimately in 1988 moved to sales. His position was challenging and Jeff quickly points out that he would have starved to death during the first several years had he not still been living with his parents. Eventually, Jeff would also serve as interim parts manager, sales manager, and ultimately vice president of the company. By some miracle, this poor starving young man who was living with his parents won the affections of Marla Montgomery, and they married in 1992. Son McRae was born in 1995, with daughter Emily Clare following in 1999. In 2000, Oil Equipment's owner was ready to sell the business and retire. Initially, the company's chief financial officer was tapped to purchase the company, with Jeff and another long-term employee purchasing a minority interest. Unfortunately, or perhaps in hindsight, fortunately, things didn't go as planned. Money was tight, a major customer went bankrupt and almost took Oil Equipment with him, and the initial majority purchaser couldn't follow through with his commitment and the other minority stockholder left as well. In 2004, Jeff was the last man standing. The former owner then tried to sell the company to another party and things didn't go as well as expected. Jeff saw an opportunity. The only problem was he didn't have the resources needed to purchase the company. Undeterred, Jeff powered ahead and in 2006 he was able to purchase oil equipment company with no money just a personal note held by the previous owner and a lease agreement on the building. Slowly through hard work and determination, Jeff started to turn things around and the company's financial outlook began to improve. Jeff invested in the industry through PNCMA. These investments were investments of both money through sponsorships and time by regularly attending association events. Jeff says that many of his closest friends are the people he's met through this industry and our association. He particularly enjoys PNCMA's winter management trip, as you can tell by many of the pictures shown here tonight. Jeff's investments paid off, and in 2016, the company became debt-free. Jeff's son, McRae, began working part-time during the summer of 2014 and then joined the company full-time in 2019. Emily Clare is currently a senior at Alabama majoring in education. Jeff is also a man of strong faith and a life member of the Leicester Memorial United Methodist Church, where he has served as interim youth director and served on and chaired the staff relations committee. He has also served as the building committee chairman for approximately seven years during a major building program. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jeff Smith. 